All right, I got it. You ready? Yo, Krubies, welcome back to an HMC Studios Presents. I am Josh. I'm Erica. And we decided, because the movie news lately has been so non-existent, that uh, we are going to take a look back at 2023 and the lovely horror movie offering we were given. And I still stand by the fact that I think... When we have the Stabby's Award and we really analyze these movies, I'm thinking 2023 movies may have been just a tick better than 2022 movies, which we all said was going to be impossible. I've been thinking a lot about this since you mentioned this in another episode. Maybe. We'll see. This will be the start of that. Mm -hmm. Get the wheels turning. I agree. Because... This is actually a good exercise for this is like good prep work for the stabbies. I think and I so can too. see what I need to watch. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Because this episode will come out before the stabbies award. So this is kind of like Perfect. laying the foundation mm-hmm. for what's going to happen in January when we do the annual stabbies I like awards. It. And this year's stabbies awards, I should say, will have an extra month because last year. We did November through November. So no movies, and I don't even know if there were any, they came out in December of 2022, mm-hmm. are technically eligible for this year's stabbies because we didn't include them in last year's. Now, this year we are right. including December of 2023. So this yes. Stabby's Awards uh, eligibility period will actually include 13 months Wow! of movies. We went over a year. We did. I think it's going to be epic. Honestly, I think this is the week last year that we recorded the Stabby's Awards. Was it? I thought it was towards the end of December, but you could be right. I think it was right right around now because I think we did it right before. Uh, maybe it was next week. Holidays. But I think it was right. Yeah. I think it was like the second week of, of December because everybody was busy. But yeah, Seth was really whining about it. He had a real... <laughs> Real hard on about having to do it in December. I don't know what his deal is. Man, single, lives by himself. And he's uh, only, you know, his sister's coming into town from Australia and he's acting like he's got to move mountains for this woman, okay? And I'm not going to have it <laughs> because he made her sound more important than me. Mm. And I got upset. Well, you know, it's his sister. I know, I'm just so. kidding. Then I moved it. And to be completely honest... um, my it's schedule, crazy schedule. My schedule yeah. is ridiculous. So it actually uh, behooved me to move it as well. So um, here I go making up words again, like behooved. But anyway, even I flow. think we f- even flow. I think I said Evan flow. Um, you did. <laughs> that, but it's not out of the realm for me to make up words. So, I mean, you know, True. here here we are. So anyway, all of the crewies just got uh, <laughs> like five or six or maybe even 10 minutes of me talking like uh, a Southern man, Matthew mm-hmm. McConaughey in particular. It was a very bad impersonation, Matthew McConaughey, but um, you know what? We're going to run with it. Absolutely. All right. So we have a list. We pulled up movie webs, uh, movieweb.com movies from 2023. We filtered it down to horror and we're going to start in January and just go through the uh, year. It'll be interesting to see how many of these we've seen collectively and individually. Yes. Why don't I'm we very curious? Why don't we keep a tally here? We'll do Eric first because you know, ladies first, Erica. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And yes. Josh. This will McConnell. be very interesting. Yes. Let's keep a tally. We'll see who has seen more. I think it's probably me, but we will see who has seen you. more. Yeah. And um, yeah. That's what we'll do. All right. That's what I like this. Do. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Starting <laughs> off in January. Any's men. I've never heard of this. Came out January 12th. Have you seen this? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Have no desire to see it. Moving on. January the 13th, 2023. A movie we both love. A movie that mm-hmm. we both have done multiple episodes on, I think, or at least one episode together. Um, yeah. It's been discussed on multiple episodes, though. Sick. Yes. So good. So good. Do you see yourself... Is this this in your top movies for this year? Yeah, it is. Because it has now been pretty much a year since this movie, since we watched it and did an episode. I think it released in January of of this year. Mm -hmm. And I still think about this movie. 
And I never forget that this came out this year because I want to nominate it for something for the Stabbies, whether it's uh, original. I think one of them is original story or yeah. so, I don't know, something because I really enjoyed this movie. I don't know what it is. It's just good. I liked it as well. I think it's because it took the whole pandemic thing and kind of turned it mm-hmm. on its head and it made yeah. a movie, which I'm dealing with this right now. Look at my hair. It looks so bad. <laughs> I am dealing with this now with this new Stephen King book because it's got mm. the pandemic riddled in it and it's full of political opinions that I don't care about because I hate all politics. Um, yeah. And I just, I'm, it's like ruining the book for me, but like, I feel like mm-hmm. they took it and did it good to where it's not, yeah, yeah it, the movie takes place during this, but they're not cramming it down your throat as to if you believe this or you believe that, or if you thought the masks right. work or you didn't think the masks work. Yes. There's little nuances in there about that, but like they don't cram it down your throat. Mr. Stephen King, you could learn from this, my friend, uh, even though you're probably <laughs> old and beyond uh, wanting to learn, you're probably set in your ways. I have a few friends that are, believe it or not, in that age group, and they are the same way. Anyway, Sick, one of my <laughs> favorite movies from 2023. Uh, you Agreed. got a little scared because you were like, because technically this is a 2022 movie, but it didn't get released mm-hmm. until January because of the film festival thing. Um, yeah. How sad would you have been if I was just like, no, you can't nominate it? I would be because, again, I don't remember the categories off the top of my head, but mm-hmm. um, I know this is going to be somewhere in there. It might have it might still be a contender for top for me. I really I I liked it for what you're saying. It included the pandemic, but it wasn't shoved down your throat in a way that you're like, oh, my God, I can't. It wasn't used. It didn't. It wasn't the downfall of the movie. It just made it better. And Mm -hmm. I just the style of the movie of the of the slasher scenes was fun. I like the characters in it. I cared um, even the villain, I care. Like I saw both. It was, it was just a really fun movie, and uh, I would watch this again. I should probably watch it again anyway. It was, and it's quick. That's the it other is. thing that I really like. It it's is. a fast paced movie. It's, I mean, it's written by Kevin um, Williamson, and it's very much like mm-hmm. Scream. It's a, it's a very in the same vein as, uh, from the same vein yeah. as Scream. So of course, I enjoyed that aspect mm-hmm. of it. Uh, um. Uh, there's something wrong with the children. I have listened to a podcast on this movie, but I have never watched this movie. I've never watched it either. I really have no interest. So, I think Mark and Brooke did a did an episode on it. They may have had a guest mm-hmm. on. I think, or maybe they didn't. I don't know. I think that I'm pretty positive a podcast in Elm Street covered this movie. Mm. Um, I am not going to go back and watch this for the awards. I yeah. don't feel that it's necessary. Alone mm-hmm. at night also did not see this. Nope, never heard of it either. Kids versus aliens. <laughs> Never heard of that either. Okay. Infinity Pool from January 27th. We have both seen this movie, correct? We have both seen this movie. Well, wh- you I know. like this movie, okay. but it's long and I don't really want to rewatch this unless it's for an episode mm-hmm. or for something like that. Otherwise, this isn't like a rewatchable movie. Yes. I did. I did like the concept. I like the style. Uh, this is a Cronenberg, mm-hmm. right? The son, Brandon. Brandon Cronenberg, yep. Uh, I, I do like what he's doing. I think, you know, they're both very creative. Uh, it's, it's borderline sci-fi, oh, I yeah. would say, because it's the idea. The idea is just obviously not very space sci-fi, the traditional. But uh, Mia, both actors were great in this, Skarsgård and Mia Goth. Um, it's just not rewatchable because of, one, the content, it's so heavy. It yeah, is. It is. It really is. Yeah. And uh, it's just too long. They could cut They could cut a lot from this movie <laughs> to make it shorter. It is. For it's, sure. it's really long. And it, for me, it took too long to get to the point, I think. Yeah. And then once it got to the point, it was like you were watching the same thing over and over and over. And it was like, okay, I get yeah. it. Like, there's definitely a lot of fat that could have been trimmed out of it. Um, yeah. I'm glad I watched it. I'm not going to say whether I'm the nominee. Everybody should know I really like Mia Goth. I think she's a very underrated actress, um, yeah. actor, whatever. I don't know if, even know if you're allowed to call them actresses anymore. I did uh, do that, but, you know, yeah. actor, actress, whatever. She's great. She's fantastic, and this movie is yeah. no different. She's really good at playing weird characters. She is, and I think we talked about it, but she's in her native English accent in this, and it actually mm. felt forced. 
versus her American accent. So that was really strange. Like it didn't yeah. feel natural for her. It was, it was, uh, yeah, it, it sounded I probably for us, for her, I'm sure like it was probably a relief cause we're used to hearing her not with that accent, but like yeah. it was weird. It was definitely weird. It was, it was like first, you know, I'm one, I'm used to hearing her American and Southern, right. Cause I think in X yes. and in Pearl, she has a Southern accent mm -hmm. going on. You're like, what, what is this? Why is she again? faking that? Yeah. Why didn't so. they hire a British actor to do that part? They hired, right. <laughs> they hired her. <laughs> but, so, uh, I like it. I don't doubt. I don't doubt I'll nominate it for something, yeah. though, because it has some some cool stuff. You know what's not on this list, but it's on the other list we found is Megan. Did that? It's not on this list at all? No, and it came out in January. Oh. That's wow. really strange. That is strange. Yeah. Huh. Am I dinging? So, Can you hear me dinging? I, I do. Interesting. I wonder why yeah. it's not. Uh... Uh, so there's two movies on this list that are on the other list. One of them is Megan. And uh -huh. then the other one, the controversial Skinamarink. Because that came out in January. I have purposely found a list that didn't have Skinamarink. I was like, I'm not uh, doing. No, I'm kidding. I didn't do that. Um. <laughs> I wonder if I yeah. can. Hang on, this thing's going back here. Sick. Is the blackening on there on the on this list? That came out in the summer. Let me see. It's not on here. This dinging is going to drive everybody nuts. I wish it would quit doing it. The black. And the eight. problem is if I mute it, it'll mute you as well, and I don't want that to happen. Ah, uh, uh, the blackening is no, it's not not it's, on here. It's talk to me on here. Yes, but the blackening is on the other list. I think I'm pretty sure I saw it, so I'll I'll have both open. Okay, yeah, you help me out then. You got it. So what did, what is well what did I miss in January? Then it's not on this list. That is on the other one. Megan. Okay, because that I, was a big one. I have seen Megan. Did you see Megan? I did see Megan. I liked it. Cool concept. Uh, I don't think I'm going to probably be nominating it for anything. Although I think it is yeah. one that has rewatchability value for sure. I liked it more than I thought I was going to. I'm not big into these dolls. Mm -hmm. Very, you know, uh, but I did like the whole AI concept because I think that's very real and we can apply it to today. And she's pretty freaky looking anyway. Uh, and yeah, it's it's a fun movie. It was very entertaining, and it does have re. I wouldn't personally go out of my way to watch it again, but it is rewatchable. I can mm. see how it is. So it was a good time. And then uh, <laughs> Skidamarink was came out because that one was kind of controversial when it came out, and then it just disappeared. As but it, it should did happen. As it <laughs> should have, because that movie was hot trash, dude. But it counts because we wa we both watched it. That's true. So it's it, another it little tally there. It does count, but it sucked. Um, it does. Unfortunately. I, I know you uh, liked it, though, right? Uh, I did like it. Uh, I, it played on... And I could totally see how... I mean, I don't love it, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't watch it again, but it, I think this would have been great, like a 15-minute short yes. or whatever, yes. to be very fair. But I see the whole idea of waking up in the middle of the night as a kid, it gave me that where, okay, the TV's on and that's mm. all you, all you get is that weird blue light and your imagination goes wild, especially if you have a bigger house like it was in the movie. But again, it's very experimental artsy. Yes. Very out there kind of thing. So, but I wouldn't rewatch it. Like it's not something I'm going to go watch again ever. And it is found footage technically. I guess so. Uh, I know. You could, I don't know. Sure. We'll, we'll go with that. But uh, yeah, I was, sure. uh, you know how I feel about that movie. Um, I know. <laughs> did we capture all of January then? That's, we're good then? The only other thing on this list, I mean, I've never watched it or heard of one of the, one, the other movie is Fear and Blood. No, mm. Well, one movie is Fear, one movie is Blood. I heard of Fear, I never watched it, and Blood, I have no idea what that is but yeah, never nothing heard of, else major never heard of blood fear was on my watch list i have not watched it because it had such bad uh rating so i, I didn't take the time uh, to watch it so i'm with yeah, you I'm but with that's you it for that. january 
All right, hopping over to February, Knock at the Cabin. I did see that. I think I saw it in theaters. I believe you did. I did watch it at home. I liked it. It was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. Not, it wasn't great, but it was good. That's exactly what I was getting ready to say. It was, <laughs> it was nothing uh, that is probably going to make the Stabby's list. It, mm-hmm. But M. Night Shyamalan and I aren't, uh, you know, we don't usually, uh, I don't usually really love his movies anyway. So I was yeah. surprised that I did like it. I did watch it because of Dave Bautista, but. Um, he no, did great in that. He did excellent. Overall, not a bad movie either, by the way. Like, it's not a, a no. bad movie by any means. It's, it's a really entertaining movie. And it kept me yeah. guessing all the way up until the end. Part of the reason I didn't think I think I didn't care for it as much is because I didn't like the way it ended. What didn't you the what the what was going on is what you didn't like? Yeah, I was hoping mm. for more of a twist and the fact that this wasn't actually happening and these people had done all of this right like they were like a suicide pact cult of some sort or maybe even maybe brainwashed into doing this but i found it more fascinating that everything they were showing them could have been or was like pre-taped and that's how they knew these Mm. things were happening like that's kind of what i was hoping happened um versus what actually did happen but nonetheless i I know there's people that like the way it did and i just i thought it would have been more interesting if he had went the other route that these things were not actually happening I, I was also expecting, I didn't mind the end, but I was expecting something a little bit more. And that's his fault, right? Because he's also led us to believe that there's always going to be a twist and a twist. So is that this his one, fault, though, or is that our fault? N- well, he sets us up for it. So it is kind of his fault. Yeah. Sort of. Okay. Or, and it's it's both. Let's say it's both, because then we are also coming in thinking, ooh, it's M. Night Shyamalan. Yes. We're going to get a twist. And I don't think every movie he has has a twist, to be fair. I agree with that. I don't think so yeah. either. I think the it's because of the way he started, right? Because that first yeah. movie had such a twist. Um, yeah. And then The Village had a really bad twist. Uh, but nonetheless, I really don't but like You know what? Di- the Visit doesn't. That's a great twist. That's a great twist. I mean, it's The Sixth Sense is a great twist. The problem with The Sixth Sense yeah. is that it destroys all rewatchability of that movie versus the visit where oh, so good. it's, you can still watch it, but it's also funny where the sixth synth is, right. is honestly rather depressing all the way through the whole movie is fun. It's a very depressing movie, which, you it know, is. I don't yeah. like movies like that anyway. They, this, I don't, I'm okay with watching people get gutted and, um, you know, chased <laughs> down with chainsaws, but I don't want right. to watch something depressing because that's not entertaining to me. Right. I don't I don't mind either. So you're like, I want to sit around and be sad. Yeah, I'm in. I I'm it. in for some sad. <laughs> I, my mom, when I was a kid and still to this day, Abby's the same way, honestly, like they, she, my mom wants to sit around and watch a movie that makes her cry. I think it's a chick thing. I don't like it. I'm like, I don't jerking uh, movies yeah. like why? <laughs> Although I, I noticed that in my older age, I get a little more teary eyed at movies than I have ever I hear you. Before, so it's it's uh maybe it's an age thing i don't know but an yeah I don't, I don't i'm not into crying when i'm you know what i mean like i'm not into yeah. like, like i like the happy cry i guess yeah does that make those sense are good. yeah those are good or when you're yeah when you're laughing so hard you're crying oh it's the yes, best those are the best for certain that happened to me it at is. dinner the other night we were uh me and three of my colleagues were just laughing so hard we were we were like crying everybody else there was 20 of us at dinner and there's three of us at the end of the table that were just howling, Dying. laughing, and, and cried to take my glasses off. I was crying, like <laughs> laughing. That's awesome. And then you can tell everybody was like, oh, man, well, I wish I would have sat down there. But okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to be here all night if I keep telling stories. Uh, Bloodflower, <laughs> never heard of it. We're, nope, never heard of that either. Swallowed, never heard of it. Same. Winnie oh, the Pooh. Here we go. These are February movies again, people. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Uh, did not watch it. Almost watched it the other day and decided not to. I have to run a bunch of reports tomorrow and I have to put together a bunch of presentations for next week's traveling because, yes, I'm on the road again. This is like seven or eight weeks in a row. Um, on the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood Honey, maybe I'll turn it on. It's not something I'm going to dedicate my time to sitting down and just watching it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not going to happen. I don't blame you. I did not watch it. I have no desire because everybody said it sucked. I'm good. I'm good on this. 
Here's an interesting one. Who I you know what? Poiseta. Thank you. The You're Bone welcome. Woman. I've heard this is good. I really like this movie. This is in my top for this year also. Uh I don't know if you'll like it. It is elevated ish. Uh-huh. Uh but I really liked it. It was uh I would put it on the vibe of not not at the high quality of uh, hereditary, but it has that same. It has to do with family and kind of family babies and yeah. Are you saying that like I'm that? too stupid to understand? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? No, but I know you don't like elevated shit. But you did like hereditary, so I'm saying that's why I'm saying this is okay. kind of in that. It's not Midsommar elevated. <laughs> Should I watch this movie for the awards? Do you like reading subtitles? No, I hate it. Then don't, because it's also in Spanish. Okay, I am out 100%. I think you and I have had this conversation before. Does Mark like this yeah. movie? I don't know. I don't think he watched it. Maybe. You know who did like it? Who? Well, he gave it kind of in the middle. I think he gave it a 60. Uh, Anthony from... Porcelain Peak? Porcelain Peak, yeah. I don't know if two chicks saw it. Huh. Okay. I think they did. It must have been you, or maybe it was Felicia. It could have been Felicia. Mm. Um that uh, maybe you and I have already had this conversation. Uh, yeah, because I now remember it being the reason was the subtitles. Because I just, I can't. Yeah. I'm and a I know, stupid I, American. I can't that. help it. I run into that a lot recently. People don't, if it's not dubbed, you mm -hmm. know, the actual dubbing, uh, people don't like to read the subtitles. And I get it because then you have to like double focus. Yes. Uh, but, but I don't mind. So I really like this movie. The only other movie that's, that I watched in February that's not on this list, it's on the other one, is The Outwaters. It was a found footage that came out. It was a direct to streaming. Uh -huh. well, I had to rent it. Uh, did not like that one. It was way too elevated, artsy. I didn't get it. I'm like, okay, whatever. This was just boring and annoying. So boring that and annoying Outwaters. But you did watch it. I did watch it because right. it was found footage. There you go. Well, you're beating me seven to five thus far. Don't. I'm sure you'll catch up. Don't worry. Mm, <laughs> Somewhere along we'll this we'll line. See. Let's not get too crazy. <laughs> so we're into March because you said that was it for February, correct? Yeah. And uh, there's other stuff, but I've never heard of these movies that I, I don't think it's important. So moving along then. Children of the Corn, uh, the new one. Terrible. Awful. I watched it when I had COVID. Uh, Mark told me not to watch it because he knew I was not going to like it, and he was yeah. correct. Uh, I did not watch it based on knowing that. It's bad. It's so. like it's like really bad. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm Which good. is sad because it had like so much potential, but really mm. just shit the bed, dude. It just shit right in the. That's bed. the worst. I know. It is the worst. Shit, not fun. Unseen. Have you seen this? <laughs> Nope, never heard of it. All right, Scream 6. I did see Scream 6 twice in theaters, about 17 times at home. Loved it. It's definitely going to get nominated for some awards from me. It will probably be my movie of the year. Spoiler alert for everybody out there, but I'm sure that doesn't shock anyone. Uh, I, I mean, it doesn't shock me. <laughs> I would. I If you didn't choose Scream 6, I'd be like, something's wrong with you. Are you sick? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, um, I, I also watched this in theater. I think we did an episode on this, right? Um, I'm sure we did. I'm certain that we did. I would be shocked if we didn't. I'm pretty sure we did. And uh, this was a really good time because of, I told you, it was full of every generation in the theater. People cheered when Jenna Ortega came on the screen. The New York vibe was awesome. They used it well. And uh, let's see what happens now. I'm curious. But in the meantime, this was a really fun Scream installment. Agreed. It makes me a little sad because we don't know what we're getting now. But, um, yeah. that's but for a, now, that's a story for another day, right? It's a story yeah. for that's a story for another beer. Uh, the movie Malum. <laughs> I don't know this movie. I did not watch this. This has to do. I don't know if it's a prequel sequel. I didn't really understand what the situation was with this movie or a remake. Who knows uh, for Last Shift? I don't know if you ever watched that movie. I never saw it, but I've heard that it's really heard good. Heard of it. Yeah, I saw it a long time ago. It is good, but 
I think this one got mixed to bad reviews. I know Elm Street also did an episode on this. I did not listen yet because I do want to I do want to watch this. So we'll see. I'm not sure. Looking at the the uh, cover art for the movie, Malum, it reminds me of uh, Darth Maul from Star Wars. That's all I can think yeah. of when I look at that. I got to get rid of that's it. A good point. Go away. <laughs> um, anything on the other list that's not on here that's noteworthy? Uh, that's noteworthy. No. Okay. We'll move right into spring. We are in April. April. Uh, the yep. Pope's Exorcist. Also watched this while I had COVID. I actually like this movie more than other people did. Okay. Um, I know Mark and Brooke did not like it. I think Felicia and I liked it more than they did. Uh, Russell okay. Crowe was pretty comical in it. You can't <laughs> yeah, really you did say that. Can't really take it seriously. It's it's. I yeah. think it was meant to be funny, and it mm-hmm. adds a different element than other Exorcist movies have. Uh, did you watch this? I have not watched it yet. I do want to see it before Stabby's because since this is one of those, you either really like it or just like it or hate it. Mm -hmm. I I need to make that decision for myself. So I will watch it. I I liked it. I would suggest watching again. Don't take it too seriously. It's it's pretty goofy. Uh, Cube. Okay. Is this a remake of the original Cube movies from the 90s? I'm not sure. I've never seen this. Yeah, it's a remake. It's a Japanese remake, actually. So that's funny, right? Because usually it's J horror that we yes remake, but now it's the opposite. I did not see this. I have no interest yeah, in I'm, watching it. I didn't uh, think it needed a remake, but I don't even remember. I remember my dad having watched the other ones um, when I was a kid. I wasn't allowed to watch them. Um, yeah, but, yeah. Renfield. I did watch this. I think this may have also been another COVID movie. Um, <laughs> so when you caught up. It, I'm telling you, remember I had COVID and I like was it because I couldn't get rid of it. Like I wasn't sick, but I couldn't test positive, so I didn't want to be around Charlotte. But like yeah. I watched all these movies. I watched how, I how many TV shows did I watch? A ton. Yeah, you did too. Yeah, you oh. were you were busy that week. I think I think it was a week. Yeah, it was awful, dude. Yeah. It was terrible. Like I wasn't sick was the annoying part. Like I was I was annoyed. Like I yeah. went out and paced circles around my backyard because I was just I can't sit still because I have ADHD. <laughs> anyway, uh, did you see Renfield? I did not. I I don't like Nick Cage. This is I don't know. This is not a movie for me. I don't know if I will watch it for the awards. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I don't know. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> like I'm not interested at all. I don't think you will nominate this for anything. So if the, if you're like, man, I really want to watch Renfield or something else, I would say skip Renfield. Okay, perfect. That that's enough for me. Um, and plus you don't like Nick Cage, so that's I watched it because right. I like Nick Cage. The funny thing is, I like Nick Cage, and I don't like Nicholas. Excuse me, Nicholas Holt very much, to be mm-hmm. honest. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, anyway, it's kind of funny. Uh Oregon Trail from April 14th. Did you I've never even heard of this. I've never heard of this either. So you got me. If this takes place back in like settler time, I will watch it because I love movies set in 1870s. I'm in, dude. A young mm. Abigail Archer, alone in Montana winter during the 1870s, who there fights for her survival and to retrieve her one earthly possession, a family horse from a gang of bloodthirsty bandits. Dude, I am in. Interesting. I this went under the radar. I had no idea. I got hmm. it written down. Oregon Trail. Uh April twenty first, this Evil Dead Rise. You did see this, correct? We did. We did. This I know we did an episode on as well. We did a lot of episodes. We record hmm. a lot. We talk so much. I did we I do. screw up our numbers? Do you have this is eight for you? I think so. Okay. Just making sure. I want to, I don't yeah. want to cheat you because I'll cheat to win. That's just how I roll. Um, <laughs> as Tawny this thought, was a good one. as Tawny yeah. thought on the last year's that she thought I cheated to win the, the movie of the, the year, screen. but it's, it's fine. Yeah. She was wrong. Evil Dead Rise. I loved it. Thought it was great. Uh, definitely yeah. added something new to the Evil Dead franchise. I was also very excited for it. Um, but yeah, I, I yeah. enjoyed it very much. I, I do think I have this nominated for one of the awards. I won't say which one it is, but I'm pretty sure I did nominate it for something. Uh, I might. This was a good one. It had a lot of uh, scary imagery. Uh, I actually need to rewatch it. I think it's on something now. Uh, HBO knows? maybe, I think. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Because uh, it has rewatchability, I think, as well. And I think it did add the... Uh, it added a darkness to this franchise. Uh, I know the remake was dark, but this is 
continuing that, which I like versus more of that goofy, you know, the original yes. low budget kind of goofy thing. It so, definitely played on the, um, the rebooted version. So I, I agree. Yeah. I like that more than the uh, corniness of the originals. Yeah, for sure. So, um, cool. April 28th, a movie called Clock came out. It was on Hulu. I did not see this. I did not. And the un- the other movie that came out in April, it's on the other list, is, I think you watched it, or maybe you watched part of it, The Black Demon. Of uh, the shark movie. Yeah. I watched part of it, got really annoyed with it, stopped watching it, turned it back on the next morning so I could finish it, and mm. it didn't get any better. It's terrible. It's terrible. And you know I love me my shark movies, okay? But and they can be bad. That's what's endearing about some of these shark movies, but this was mm-hmm. just bad in a bad way. It wasn't bad good. <laughs> it was just awful. And yeah. then it was boring. Not enough kills. Yes. I didn't care the act. Oh my god, it was just so bad. The CGI was terrible. Terrible terrible the worst awful. part was that it tried to be serious i think if it had like went the sharknado route where they know it's a joke and they know it's not a right. good movie and they just like had fun with it but this was like they were very much trying to be serious they were that's what made it so bad yeah. is that why are you trying to make this what it isn't mm-hmm. <laughs> basically it's not great so, not great ugh, at all so uh so you so hit that was that was the only one on the list that wasn't on our other list correct yep Okay, May, we're getting into summer months. We're getting close to summer. Uh, the Outwaters, you brought this up earlier, didn't you? On the other, on this list, it came out in February, but here it's May, but whatever. The point is I watched it. When, whenever this came out, I did watch it. So, okay, good to know. Uh, let me see. We're in May, right? You said? Yeah. Did I add I'm this here. for you in January or did I not add it? You added it. Okay. You added it. Uh, the only other thing that I watched in May that came out, it was because it was straight to streaming, but it was kind of a big deal at the time. It was a Shutter movie influencer uh, oh. that came out in May. It's on this other list. I did not watch that. It was all right. It's not something I'll watch again or nominate. I think you I told if... me I wouldn't like it. I think you might like it. Well, it's a who. Like it's it. it's mysterious. On it's not a who done it, but it's kind of. I don't know. It's more thriller than horror, I would say. I wrote it down. Uh, I might check it out. You might like it. You might. But uh, it, it it's all right. It's not, like I said, it's not, not something I'd go back to. But gotcha. I did watch it. So Anything else in May from that other list? Mm-mm. Head to June. Head to June. Let's see. June, June, June. Didn't... Uh... We've got a big one in June. Didn't the Wrath of Becky come out in May? The who? The Wrath of Becky was the sequel to the movie Becky. It's got um uh, Lulu. It is. Uh, May twenty sixth. What's her name? Her name is La uh, Lulu Wilson. Sure. Am I making this? But up? Yes, it did. You are right. The Wrath of Becky, May twenty sixth. Dude, it's so good. Okay, good to know. Hey, did I did you, not. Did, did you see Becky the original? Mm-mm. I bet you know who Lulu Wilson is, right? That nope, I was gonna say the wrong person. It's okay, I'm not upset. I don't think I know who that is. Lulu Wilson, yeah, Google it. I bet you'll know who she is. Uh, she's in The Conjuring 2, I think. I'm pretty sure. Let me see, Lulu Wilson. Oh, yeah, I know who. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, she plays Becky. If you've never seen Becky, I highly suggest watching Becky just so you can watch The Wrath of Becky because it is great. Oh, and Kevin James is in that? He's in the first one. He plays a Nazi killer. Wow. Yeah, it's an interesting okay. movie. You should check it out. It's fun. It's oh, a uh, yeah. definitely a I popcorn movie. Okay. Okay. I'm down for some popcorn movies. <laughs> All right. Moving into June, The Boogeyman. Saw in theaters. My back about broke while I was watching it afterward. Had to hobble out of the theater. Uh, enjoyed this movie very much. I also saw it in theater. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to enjoy it. Mm. Like, I don't, I have no desire to rewatch it. And I think we also did an episode on this. 
Uh, I believe that we did do an I episode. I believe we did. This. Oh, we should have took another tally marks on how many we uh, movies we did uh, episodes on. But yeah, I That's liked true. this movie. Felicia and I actually kicked around doing an episode about it. The funny thing is, um, is Felicia, when you were uh, gone and Felicia and I did an episode, we were, she was like, well, I haven't done an episode on The Boogeyman yet, and I really liked it. And I was like... I feel like I've done an episode on this, but I will do another one. And then I went back and looked, and you and I had done one. Uh, I think yeah. it was um, right around when the time it came out. So, yeah, I liked it. I don't think it's going to get nominated for anything on the Stabby's Awards, but I do think it's worth watching. Yeah. It'd be cool for you guys to do an episode on it to see that perspective because you, I was the one that didn't really care for it, but mm. she liked it. So then you both. Yeah. You can do it. We'll have to, it. maybe. Then I'd have to rewatch no. it. The problem is I don't have any time to rewatch True. anything. So maybe next year. That's the, yeah. Which is in okay. three weeks. So like next year, three weeks. It's only three weeks <laughs> yeah. away. Uh, Brooklyn 45, June 9th. I have no idea what this is. I did watch that. That was on Shudder. Uh, it was cool. It was different. I don't know. I, I wouldn't nominate it or rewatch it. It, it was a mix of paranormal but post world war ii paranoia of mm -hmm. like you know nazi infiltration in america so it was, it was interesting it was something different but again it's not something i would rewatch or nominate mm. anything for so run rabbit run netflix movie i watched this uh was not into it i only watched it because the main actor is siobhan from succession so I thought, hey, mm. I'll give it a shot. And then it uh, it let me down big time. I did not watch it. So no idea. Because I also saw kind of mixed negative reviews. And again, if it doesn't have a great review mm. and it's a lower movie like this, like I don't want to really invest too much time because we got to watch other stuff. Yes. Uh, so I already forgot about this. And the only other thing uh, that's not on that list, but on this one, it's The Blackening which I have uh, not watched. I did. I watched that on a flight, believe it or not. And I actually enjoyed it quite a lot. I actually did want to watch this because the trailer looked like it was good. It was so is a horror comedy. It's definitely a it? horror comedy whodunit. Um, it's nice. almost like a parody kind of. Okay. Uh, it's really good. It's really good. I would suggest cool. watching it. I don't think it's going to get nominated for anything, but I would definitely... It's it's a fun movie to watch. Like another popcorn movie is what I would label it based oh, on okay. your telling me what that means, of course. <laughs> you like that. I do. Ever since you might use that, you, it's a good term. I do. It's, it's good. A, it's a good it's one. A it's good like one. horror adjacent. See? That's another good one, yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> July, we've got Insidious, The Red Door. I did see it. Great movie. Uh, probably not going to mm -hmm. get nominated for anything, but definitely worth a watch. I also watched it. We also did an episode on it. Uh, I don't know if I will nominate it, but I really did. I would rewatch it. I did like, uh, I was going to call him Owen Wilson. Patrick, Wrong guy. Patrick, Patrick Wilson. Wilson. Oh. I got half of it right. You I, were there. Uh, you were I really there. liked, yeah, halfway there. I really liked him directing this, his character. And I liked the relationship in this movie. Yeah, I would probably rewatch it actually. Yeah, I liked it because, you know, paranormal, I'm in. So you liked it so much you'd rewatch it. I would rewatch this one. Okay. I did like it. Love I liked it. it. Love it. Loved it. Loved yeah. it. Bird Box yeah, Barcelona did not watch it. No desire to watch it. Same here on both occasions. Cobweb did watch it. Loved it. Um, Again, I don't know how this movie flew under the radar until I was at Insidious, the Red Door, I think, and saw the trailer for it. And then all of a sudden right. it was out. I liked it a lot. I know some other people did not like it so much. Again, the last five minutes with the shitty CGI ruins a large portion of it. They should have kept yeah. it practical or just not showed it. But I did Agreed. enjoy the movie a lot. I did too. There was, I think we did an episode on this too. I but think we the, did. there was a great jump scare in this and it, it's a typical jump scare but it had to do with timing i like the dark eeriness of this movie mm -hmm. i don't know if i'll nominate it depends i agree though that cgi at the end is like just leave it a mystery i did not need to see that Agreed. i really didn't it, it didn't add anything there was it added nothing no. it only took away it's i don't know how that flew yeah. like who approved that i don't know who it was yeah. but they're not very smart they're not. And uh, this would have been a good movie at the theater. 
I agree. I wish I, I wish I could have seen it in the theater. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Yeah. Um, I did see Talk to Me in theaters, and I did we do an episode on that too? This I don't know. I don't think we had time. The timing was off. I think I saw it later than you. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what happened. You saw it first, I think, and I, I was like a week behind in the movie okay. theater life but i also did watch it you liked it right i liked it more than you did um yes. i could not stand the main character she drove me crazy she was probably the worst part of the movie but i actually did enjoy the movie yeah uh so maybe we did can i remember talking about this who knows we'd have to go back and see if we did an episode on it but uh i don't know this is a movie up my alley it really is and i did not like it I don't know if it has to do with the main character because mm. I could not stand her either. It was hard for me to care or get into it because I just I couldn't I couldn't stand her. Yeah, <laughs> she was she was rough. It was tough. She it was, was she was really hard to root for. I, I get and the thing yeah. is they were trying to make you feel sorry for her, which I wanted to because of the situation she was in, but she just made it yeah. so hard. She so really hard. did. She really yeah. did. Uh, the only other movie that's not on here for July. I guess because it's questionable if it's real horror or not is the haunted mansion that came ah, out July 28th. You did see that, correct? I did. I personally really enjoyed this movie. I rewatched it on the flight back from vacation. Okay. Uh, but I, I did like it. So it's not going to get nominated for anything, but yeah. I enjoyed it. I also saw it. Um, I watched it on Disney. I did not see it in theaters. I also really enjoyed it. Um, nice. Definitely one I would suggest, like a younger horror fan, or maybe somebody just getting mm-hmm. into horror. I think it would be good for them. But uh, yeah, I really liked it. It was funny. Abby and I both really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, yeah probably the same as you. Probably not going to be nominating it for anything. But it was definitely a fun movie to watch. I definitely agree that it's a good uh gateway for a kid because there's some parts in that movie that I'm like, uh, yes, okay, yes. I don't think a kid should watch that, but hey, it's a good transition agreed to start them definitely so. agree. i'm glad we didn't let the kids watch it uh yeah <laughs> one kid did not have any desire to watch it the other wanted to and we decided we would watch it first and then determine i think we determined probably maybe in a couple of years they'll, they'll be yeah. able to watch it yeah but. some stuff in there august what do we got we got the meg 2 the trench i did watch this was this another covid movie i think it was i did not watch this in theater like i had potentially wanted to i'm glad i didn't actually mm-hmm. once i watched it yeah uh, just bad it was bad it was better than the black demon but it was still bad it was and not good bad it was weird either. like the yeah the shark stuff was cool but like again i really feel like it was it was i think we talked about this i think it was um the way it was produced and the way it was done, it really felt like it was not geared toward our market. Like it was for mm, a right. different market in the relationship between Jason Statham's character and his daughter was so mm-hmm. weird because it really felt like the other guy was her dad. The yes. uncle. Yeah, it did. It was so. weird. And, and we, and the numbers show it, it made more money, uh, yes. internationally. I really think it was more for an, mm. an, an an international audience than than here. But hey, you know I what? I agree with you. Everybody's got a thing. Uh, the Passenger. Yeah. This is on my list of things I want to watch. I have not watched it. I love Kyle Gallner. Um, but I just have not gotten to this because I don't think I'm going to be nominating it for anything. So I was trying to put other movies ahead of it. But I do plan on yeah. watching it before the awards. Uh, I have not watched it. I don't know if I'll watch it because this is the one we watched the trailer and we guessed everything yeah so it's on a low priority list because i mean i'd still be interested to see what the story is and how we get around it but i think we pretty much figured it out so i'd rather yeah. watch something else like the next movie i'd actually watch over that one i am so the next movie is the last voyage of the dementor i think that's how you say that demeter demeter whatever i have the been, mentor <laughs> that's whatever. what i always want to call it but there's no end Me too. Right? i'm like Damn i know it. I've been waiting for this movie to be on some sort of streaming service where I don't have to pay for it. And right now you It's sh- on Hulu. It is? To to my knowledge. When I look it up, Hold it on. tells me I have to rent it. I I've looked it up twice. Oh. Hold on. I'll tell well, you. Well, again, that was like 
two months ago. And, you know, everything changes within a day. Oh, I've been waiting services. for this movie. Oh, damn. Yeah. It was on Hulu. Was it really? It was. Damn it. That's a bummer because I really wanted to watch it. Yeah. But see, with the ratings, I don't know, man. Paying five ninety nine, dollars it's, it's tough. Well, that's why, I, and the thing is, like, I I'll go to watch it, and I'll be like, oh man, it's okay. I gotta rent it. Okay, I'll rent it. But then I'm like, there's other movies I want to watch. I don't need to rent, so I'll just do those. Yeah. So that's why I haven't yeah. watched. I do plan on watching. I'm probably just gonna have to bite the bullet and rent it or buy it. Yeah. But as yeah. of now, uh, not high on my priority list. But we can both mm-hmm. admit, or uh, we both agree, we we would like to see it. Yeah, for sure. I, yeah. I would prefer not to rent it, but yeah, I'm with you. Oh well, I would have wanted to see it because there are some people who really like it. There were. So now I'm kind of like, oh, it got mixed okay. reviews for sure. A lot. It seemed like people either it really liked it or really didn't like it. Yeah. So, oh well, yeah. uh, we'll see. Last one on my list is all fun and games. Have not ever heard of this. I've never heard of this either. No idea. Do you have anything of note worthiness? Uh, on August, no, that was it. Nothing in August. Okay, let's go on to September. We've got The Nun 2. I did see this in theaters. I really enjoyed it. I know you had a different experience with it. Uh, Yep, saw it in theater. We did not do an episode on this, I think, because work and I think we saw it on off schedules as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I liked it better than the first one. I will say that. But again, remember I, I was saying that the theater was the the film yes or my version was way too dark so i think i missed who knows what and the sound was bad it was mm. too low yeah uh which i find it strange that it was so bad considering it was a a premiere because i went to some kind of premiere right. and i got free tickets for it and i just find it strange why would you show it like this but at the same time, I'm also unless it's free and I've caught up, I don't really want to rewatch this. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, Abby and I both really liked it, and again, I went into yeah. this with high hopes with movies. I did like the first one. I know. Um, yeah, it's a little disappointing that that you did not. I think Seth watched it and Seth liked it as well. Yeah. I'm trying to think it it, me. of who else. And again, it could be the fact that it was so dark and the 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 sound was not great, which Mm -hmm. in this movie, you need both. You need to be able to see what's going on and hear what's going on because there's a lot of good sound. Well, what I would think are good sound effects, but. Well, like I told you, there's things going on in the background that if you can't see them, you're going to lose that Mm -hmm. um, aspect of it. But no, Jess, Jess was the one that had saw it. Uh, She gave it a four. Mark only gave it a two. Brooke gave it a two and a half. But. Everyone should keep in mind they are Canadian and not very smart. <laughs> so, uh, no, I'm kidding. But no, I get it. A lot of movies to yeah. watch. You didn't enjoy it the first time, so probably not worth yeah. dedicating the time to go back and and revisiting it. So, yeah, because I'm not going to nominate it. So, right, I could rewatch it another time, but right now it's like I got to prioritize. I'm with you. I'm also on. not going to be nominating it for anything. So, um, yeah. that I guess that speaks volumes. But uh, Megalomaniac, I've never heard of this. Have you? Nope, never heard of this either. Uh, it Lives Inside, also have not heard of it. I have heard of this. It was released in theaters here mm-hmm. for a short amount of time. It's just that it came out between The Nun and Saw, so I think it just got gotcha. overshadowed. But I actually do want to see this. I think it's uh, it's paranormal. I do want to see it. So this one is... I forgot about it. I'm actually glad we did this because now I remembered... And maybe, hopefully, let's see if it's anywhere. I've got a list already from this. I've got Oregon Trail, Influencer, The Passenger, and The Last Voyage that I need to get in. So uh, I don't know that I'm going to get all of these in, but we'll see. It lives inside. Okay, you have to rent it. At least it's three ninety nine. That's not bad. You can probably buy it for bad. five bucks. Might as well just buy and it's, it. And it's an hour and 40 minutes. Dude, you can't beat that. It's the best. Can't beat so, that. Uh, no we'll One see. Will Save You, Hulu movie from September 22nd. I did watch this on yours and Mark's and Brooks' recommendation, and I hated it. Oh no! Yeah, I had a feel. I had a feeling you wouldn't wouldn't like this. I did like this. I thought it was a different alien movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. like wait a minute, I recommended it to you. Uh, yeah, you sure did. Well, I don't know if you recommended it to me. Mark did recommend it to me, but you mm. guys both, you all three of you, you Mark and Brooke, all said that you enjoyed it very much. So that's that was yeah. But I believe Mark yeah. did actually recommend it to me. 
I would not. Re- it's it's aliens. I would not recommend that to it's you. Not good. It's not great. The gal, the uh, the actor in it, I forget her name. Is it's escaping me. Uh, she was from Justified. Yeah. She does a great job. She's great, great job. Yeah. It's just it's not my kind of movie. And yeah. uh, it's not for you. Yeah. No, it's it's not <laughs> at all. It took me like three sittings to get through it because I originally was Yeesh. not going to finish it. And Mark's like, no, no, finish it. Uh, it'll all come around full circle at the end. I'm like, okay, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I made it through it and hated it. Anyway, Saw yeah. 10. I don't know why I said 10 so weird. but uh, Yeah, Saw 10 it's from September 29th. We both saw this in theaters. We sure did. We did not do an up. Ep- Actually, yes, we did do an episode on it. We did. We've done a lot of episodes. I'm telling you, we really did. It's crazy. Uh, we're in September, right? We are. Yes. This one, I you know that was in in the news. I think I don't know. This movie was great. I really, really love this movie. It was great. It's rewatchable. It is fun, but it's also heartfelt. I don't know yes. if that's the right word for him. I mean, it isn't, <laughs> but it is. Like it isn't yeah. what you should think of when you think of him. But they did such right. a good job with the writing and the acting that you do. Yeah. And uh, it was just exciting. And the th- in my theater, too, the audience was pretty interactive mm-hmm. with what was going on. So it added that funness, like with Scream. I, that's yes. when going with a fuller uh, theater is fun, is if the audience is reacting yes. in a good way, not reacting like laughing or just making fun of, but reacting with it. It's yeah. so much fun. And that's what happened with this one, too. It's a good time. See, the problem I have is that so I saw this. Remember, this is the one I went because of uh, I was I when did I have COVID? Do you remember? Not that you probably jot that I, stuff down, but I, I want to say I had just tested negative finally yeah. and I went to see this at like midnight. You did see this late. I know that you did. Yeah. I think. No, you did see it first. And I saw it after you. I think I went yeah. opening night and it was a Thursday. I think so. And I did have COVID. I mean, I tested negative, but I it was during that week of COVID because yeah, I remember so I remember going and I had my mask in my pocket because if somebody sat next to me, I was going to put it on. I was going to be a jerk, right? But like there was, yeah. there was a midnight showing and there was nobody even near me. Um, yeah. But yes, I did sit there, loved it. I think i have this nominated for something i'll have to review all that but i'm pretty sure it'll it'll probably yeah. pop up if not by me by at least somebody else in the group because i know a lot of people like this movie so yeah i'll probably be nominating it as well anything else in september from the other list that i'm not uh, that i don't have yes on? something you i liked it you did did not is a haunting in venice that came out in september i'm surprised it's not on that list that was a pretty big movie that came out but okay yeah. Well, I mean, they didn't. They didn't have Haunted Mansion either. So I wonder if those That's two kind of fall into a different category. Yeah, that movie. I tell you what, I was excited for that too. And what a, what a fucking hot <laughs> turd that was, dude. You liked it though. I did like it. I did like it. I liked the the who done it. I figured mm-hmm. it out, which I was surprised. Yeah. Uh, but I liked it. Yeah. I I really haven't watched a movie like that. Well, Knives Out is kind of like that. But this, yes. I like the dark. It was a very dark movie, like literally dark mm. movie, and I just I like the made it made it seem like it was paranormal aspect. I think what bothered know? me was, was I went into it thinking it was going to be more horror than it mm. was, and I thought it was going to be very um, dark. And right, the first twenty minutes it's it's like a comedy, like all these people are following him around. He's like got this new life, mm. and I'm like I don't give a shit about this guy get to the haunting part that's supposed to be scary. So yeah, I was disappointed with it, but that's okay. That's okay. Hopping into October. October. So we're going to start off with a dud here. Appendage. I've never heard of it. I've heard of it, but I never saw it. And it's Hulu. So, I mean, they did give us fresh, but you never know. That's true. That's true. The Exorcist Believer. Great movie. I loved this movie. I thought it was excellent. Um, What about you? Uh, I finally watched it on tuesday okay i did not like this movie you didn't like it no what did you not like about it i just felt like it was another possession movie Mm. the only difference obviously it's two girls i did 
like the which I thought about you. I did like the relationship of the dad and the daughter. Mm. That that's the that's honestly what I liked the most was yeah. their relationship. Um, but everything else just seemed just like another exorcism movie and them tying in the old one with bringing in the old actress. I'm like, eh, I, I don't know. I just didn't see the point. Yeah. But that I part of it, if they had cut out that whole part and not brought her back at all, I think it would have been better, but and maybe that's what bothered me too. I'm like, this really wasn't necessary. You literally, yeah. literally could have just made this its own entity. Right. No, no pun intended. And, I just felt like that was a cheesy way to connect it, and it and it bothered me. I'm like, what? This is so unnecessary yeah. to to do this. And it just took make away. It, its own movie. it took away from the main storyline too when they did that because it was like came to a screeching halt, and they like introduced this yeah. other character. I also don't have any ties to that character. Um, God, I wish I'd watched it like more recently so I could remember because I really liked it. I think the thing I liked about it was how mean it was because I think that was what I kept telling you is that. It's really mean. You did say that. And it's mean from the beginning all the way through it. And the character that suffers the most is the dad character because it starts with the yep. wife dying, him yep. having to choose, yep. losing his faith. Guilt. Like yeah. I, I thought the the message through the entire movie was so well done. I don't know. I would like to watch it again. It'd be interesting if we had did an episode on it. Um, I'd, I would have to watch it again, though, to do one because. Yeah, um, it's on Peacock, by the way. Okay, because I I thought it was very well done. Um, yeah. The only thing I didn't like about it was the introduction of the older characters that they brought back because I I, I thought it took so much away from the story they had going. Yeah, it, it it was unnecessary. It was just that was their way of saying that this is connected to that original franchise, yeah. or you know, I just I I thought it was unnecessary. I think it cheapened it. I'm like this this is unnecessary. I will say I was not expecting. The the death. If nobody's seen it, you can pause the episode right now. But I was not expecting the death of one of the girls. The end of it, yeah. The way yeah, it ended. that was actually shocking. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that's tough. I didn't see that coming. I'm at telling all. you, the movie is so mean all the way through. And again, I don't have yeah. any ties to those older characters, so I could. I the only thing, and it didn't take the movie down for me because they did it. Cause I just didn't care. Um, yeah. So I can overlook it. I could see if like somebody really liked the original and they brought that character back and then that happened. Like, and I could see how people would like it or they wouldn't like it. But, like it just, for me, it was like they could take it out and it wouldn't matter. But I didn't, for me, it didn't bother me enough to where I, it like made me yeah. not like it. You know what I mean? Gotcha. But yeah. I did watch it. So I can, I took another one off my list. I'm like, yes. Gosh, you probably went into one it. It was more. like, man, Josh loved this. It's going to be great. And then you're like, man, what a turd. What's this, what movie did this guy watch? <laughs> It's okay. It's okay to have different. That it's actually more exciting when you don't agree on. That's true. On a movie, it's That's funner true. that way. But right, but right. I did see like the whole dad and daughter yeah. relationship. Like I kept. Oh, I know he loved this for <laughs> sure. And but what I liked about it is that yes, the mom dies right, and it didn't it didn't turn into the typical. Oh, I resent my dad. I don't get along with my dad because right. my mom is in here. They actually have a really nice relationship. Yeah. Which I did. I thought that was nice, especially because she's like a preteen teenager. It's a little tough at that time. Right. But uh, it was nice for that. Like, I really liked their relationship and mm -hmm. I thought they did a good job. They had good Same. chemistry. So Same. totally agree. We will not continue to talk about the excess believer anymore we maybe yeah, maybe we'll do an episode someday i'm not saying you have if you have more comments go ahead but i am gonna move on to no, bloodline no. pet cemetery bloodlines i did watch this um mm. nothing fantastic it was okay it wasn't terrible i do like the new versions of the pet cemetery movies i'm not a huge fan of the original pet cemetery movies so mm -hmm. i love the pet cemetery book um but yeah, i i thought this was okay it wasn't great it wasn't fantastic it was okay it was good enough in my opinion uh and it was released on streaming so that kind of makes sense did you see this yeah uh i did not and i don't have paramount plus so oh, bummer dude how sad yeah. that's okay uh totally killer watch this Ooh. i really enjoyed it um it was a sleeper because i did not think it was going to be as good as it was it's right up my alley it's a comedy slasher and it's got the gal that plays sabrina i always mess her name up so i'm not even going to try to attempt yeah. it 
What about you? Did you watch this? I did watch this. And this is a fantastic movie. I absolutely loved it. I went into it like, eh, uh, whatever. I'll just watch it because I kept hearing it was good. So I was like, all right, let's watch it. And uh, had a great time with it. Of course, it has 80s nostalgia in it. Of course. That alone was fantastic. But I like the the whodunit in it. Her character was great. You were rooting for her. You wanted her to do the whole saving of the mom and it was great. I I really like this. I rated this really high. I I'd have to think, but I, I I would potentially nominate this for something. We'll see. But it's a good time. I for sure agree. It honestly, it was way better than I thought it was. It was probably yeah. better than it had any um than it had any right to be. To be honest, because it shouldn't yeah. have been as good as it was. I know. I don't. And whether that was the intention or not. And it's rewatchable. Like I would rewatch this. Yeah, definitely sure. one you can throw on and just have fun with. Absolutely. Uh, October thirteenth, Dark Harvest. I did watch this. The HMC oh. podcast. We watched it at the cabin one night. Um, it was mm. not great. Mm, never heard of it. So. I I bought it. I didn't buy. It, it was like three dollars more to just buy it. Mm. So I do. I I own it. If you'd like to watch it, maybe on my Voodoo account. If not, it's definitely on my Amazon account. But uh, I would okay. not suggest. Uh, watching okay. it. The end of it will have you just wanting to throw the TV out the window. Uh, Dear Ooh, David, no. never watched it. Never heard of it. I've heard of it, but I never, I haven't seen it. And uh, I don't know if I will. Yeah. So I'm probably going to skip that. Suitable Flesh. Also, I have not seen this. Uh, never heard of it and have not seen it either. And it has who? Heather Graham? Yeah, that's what I was oh. looking. I think that is Heather Graham. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I did see this. We did an episode on it. We did. I did not like this. Little disappointing. Matthew Lillard was fantastic, but overall the movie wasn't great. No. No. I'm so glad I did not watch this in theater. Yeah. I would venture to guess that we... um, we're not going to see that nominated for anything. I wouldn't think. Sorry, mm-hmm. Lucy's upstairs singing. I was like, "What is that noise? Like somebody's talking." Oh, I'm like, "Is everything okay?" <laughs> yeah, no, she, I can hear. I had to take these out because they're I noise, noise. Uh, yeah, so I, but I, I was like, "What is that?" Uh, yeah. When evil lurks, one of the listeners emailed us and told us that we should watch this movie. I have not watched it yet, uh, but she specifically said Seth needs to watch it. So my guess is this is probably very violent. This movie, I just watched it a week or two ago. Uh, I absolutely loved this movie. Okay. Uh, it. it is in Spanish, so it's a subtitle thing. Okay. But I I don't even know how to describe this movie because it would give it away. It, it is shocking. Mm-hmm. It is violent. It's, I would, it's a possession movie, but it's, it's, it's unique at the same time. It's not okay. something I've seen. I I really I would rewatch it. It's it scared me. It was dark. I really like this movie. Okay, I put it on the <laughs> list. I will Are you going to nominate it for anything? Uh probably. I probably will. Okay. Well, there we have it. Mm. Uh anything else on the list from October on your other list that's not on the Let's, main list here? No, I don't let me see. Pet Cemetery. Night of the Hunted. Never heard of it. I have heard of it, but I, I did not see it. Uh, Mark saw it, and I don't think he rated it that well. Hmm. And Sister Death, which I also heard of, but I did not see it. Oh, this is a prequel to Veronica, which is a hmm. Spanish movie that's on Netflix. I didn't know this was out, so I actually do want to watch this. Internet. I've never seen point. Veronica, so um, I'm probably not going to watch it, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> believe it or not. Believe it or not. November <laughs> 2023. Here we go. Squealer starring Tyrese Gibson. I didn't even know this was a thing. I no idea. Uh, no idea. It's a Wonderful Knife. I did watch this. We watched it while we were in Cincinnati a few weekends ago. We uh, watched it. I think it was on Shudder, possibly. Uh, I think it is, yeah. Um, it's okay. Seen it. It's a slasher movie. Justin Long is fantastic in it. Justin mm. Long is just putting up some top notch performances wow. anymore. It's not a great movie. It's not something that's going to get nominated, but it is fun, different. It's a cool. It's a cool Christmas uh, Christmas slasher to throw on and watch around the holidays. But probably not going to get any awards from me. Okay, I 
I haven't seen anything after now. So, okay. Yeah. Which includes go for it. Thanksgiving, Eli Ross Thanksgiving. I did see yep. this in theaters, I think. Yeah, we saw it in theaters. It was good. Mm-hmm. Again, nothing to write home about. I think it's cool. Uh, they're going to make another one, so it'll be interesting to see where they take it. Uh, these mm-hmm. last two movies are definitely slasher movies right up my alley, but probably uh, not going to get any awards. But they are fun movies. Definitely suggest watch them if you have not seen them. Okay. The other list has nothing from November, correct? Yeah. After October, it has nothing else. So. All right. Well, this is it. Then December, December of 2023. I don't know any of these movies, but we're also only 14 days in. So maybe they just haven't been released yet, except for that last one that's not going to be released. Anyway, Raging yeah. Grace. Never heard of it. Have you heard of this? Never heard of this either. Okay. Like what? What is that? Lord of Mens Mensul Mensul Misrule. Yeah. Oh, I can't see that far. Misrule. Yes, it looks like an N. <laughs> it's bad font, so that's okay. Fair. Misrule. Thank you. Have you seen this? I've never heard of this either, and it looks like a a Joker or something. Yeah. What is going on with this thing? Huh? He's got like horns or something too, doesn't he? Yeah. Beware the harvest. Eh, hmm. Definitely not going to. That see looks that. like a stream situation <laughs> it, i 100% agree and then supposedly yeah. december 25th which this is not going to happen now it's for Ratu, but then it has parentheses 2024 so that is definitely yeah. not coming out this year i will have to say because it's kind of it's kind of it goes hand in hand with this i think that is my most anticipated movie for next year nosferatu yeah little robert eggers action i am uh yeah cautiously optimistic he has not let me down yet i did not watch the lighthouse so um right. just taking into consideration the witch the northman and the northman yeah. i liked both of those northman was a little it was it was on the line for me dude it was getting close it was getting close to yeah. over the edge of me not liking it but um not yeah. me not liking it but like this of that realm that i don't like to get long. into it was long yeah. it's weird um, but again, it's a great movie. So Nosferatu yeah. uh, is going to be fun. I think. I hope. I'm I hope. trying to think. <laughs> I don't. I. I mean, sitting here right now without having a list in front of me of of 2024 horror movies. Mm-hmm. You already know which one I'm probably most excited for right now. Or do you? Well, I would assume Maxine is one of them. That's one, but not the main one. Now, this is a monster movie, keep in mind, mm. that I'm excited for. I was going to say, is it the Radio Silence The radio silence monster movie? I'm excited for that. Right now, sitting here today, I am most excited yeah. for Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. Oh, that's right. I still can't believe that. I don't know. I, I had that on. That. I had it on today. I had this, the first one on today while I was uh, trying to get Ugh. caught up on emails. Godzilla vs. Kong. So I was like, man, I should just put that on. Because it's one I don't even have to pay attention to. I know what happens because I've seen it a bunch and yeah. I love it. And I'm just like, I know when to look up to see when the fights happen. It's excellent. I didn't know that was your most anticipated. That's that's okay. And when does it come out? I think April. April? I th- Ooh, think? spring... Right, be- yeah, we did say that because it's before the block, but you know, the summer, mm-hmm. like the, the ramp up to summer. It had kind of like sense. a weird, uh, had kind of like a weird release date, if I remember correctly. We went through 2024 upcoming movies last uh, in the news, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, because you got Night Swim, Imaginary. We, we talked about, yeah. Yeah, I think I right now yeah. it has to be, uh, yeah, it's right. I'm, I'm, it doesn't even. I'm not even. Not even going to preface it. It's. It is Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire. That's the one I'm most excited for, right now. Excellent. Well, that works. Whew, we made it. We did it. We got through all the movies. Did you keep your tally? Because I kind of think I screwed them up, to be honest. Uh, I did not. I was relying on you. It's okay. I think it was <laughs> twenty-one for you. And I think I have 30. Nice. Like I said, I think I may have screwed it up. So we'll just call it a tie. 21? <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of movies. It's a lot. Okay, well, if you're and happy with that, including- never mind. It was 21 to 30. I beat you significantly by nine, for the record. That's fine. I'm just I kidding. had a feeling you've seen more. <laughs> I went on and a that's tear. not including you know, non-horror. Hmm. 
That is true because we've seen the Mario movie. We've seen that we take the kids to see a lot of movies. Yeah, you're right. That's uh, yeah. We watch a, a lot, lot of, movies. of movies here, but that's okay. Nonetheless, we've got a few more to knock out before the uh, before the Stabby's Awards, huh? We do. We should rent the Last Voyage thing. I know. <laughs> I need to watch it. The problem is, I'm afraid I'm going to watch it, and then I'm going to be like, "Oh, I wasted that money watching this. I'm not even going to nominate it for anything." So then, am I going to nominate it for something just so I feel better about that's the money true. that I spent? Like, what is going to happen? It could ruin the whole show. I. <laughs> Don't rent it. Let's not do it. Because <laughs> comes... I don't think I'm going to nominate it for anything either. Yeah. To and the I'm, point. I'm a little biased a because the the Onion Knight is from Game of Thrones is in it. And I feel like I'm going to like give it mm-hmm. extra points because he's in it. Because I feel bad because I like him a lot. So I'm... Oh, yeah. I don't know. He is cool. If it's free, I'll watch it. I don't know that I'm going to pay for it. Yeah. If $5.99 or $6 is a little... It's a little stiff. I'd go three ninety nine tops. Three ninety nine. That's the most I'll rent a movie for. Yeah. At that point, the only exception is I'll. Yeah. At the the only exception I'm going to make is the twenty dollars to watch Taylor Swift. I just told Abby the other day that that was when you told me, and she was like, "Yeah, I think." uh," She's like, "Well, we'll see. Maybe this weekend." But I'm like, "Yeah, right. You just want to watch it by yourself because you know the kids aren't going to sit there for three hours." Yeah, I think it is three hours long. Yeah, it's going to be a lot, Jesus. dude. That is going to be a, a lot. lot. But All yes. right, well, I have a list of movies here that I now have to try to get through. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited for this Oregon Trail, so I'm going to let you know how that goes. Let me know, because I haven't heard about that, but that sounds interesting. We'll let them know. Different, different is time there, frame. Is there anything else you would like to say before we wrap it up? Uh, No. We watched a lot of movies, though. We've watched and a did lot a lot of, of episodes. Go check them out. I know it was like every other yeah. one. Like we did an episode on that. Yeah. We didn't. If we were better prepared, we could have gave them the episode number and when where they could go look for it. But uh, we weren't. So that's that's on us, we I weren't. guess. But uh, I again, it's I do so not good. have a list of the patrons, but we do appreciate all the patrons giving us their hard earned money to listen to us talk about movies. The Stabby's Awards are coming up. I don't know if it'll be the next episode after this because I'm not exactly sure when this episode is going to come out. But mm. um, the Stabby's Awards are coming up. I'm very excited for that. I've got a lot of work ahead of me for that. But uh, it'll get done. Mm-hmm. We'll do it. Everybody seems excited about it. And I don't it's know. A good time. It, it'll be interesting to see what, uh, what movies win this year and uh, what gets nominated for sure. Because there's a lot of opportunity here for some movies to slide in and steal some Steal some Stabby's Awards, I think. Yeah, a lot of different movies came out this year. They so did. We'll see. And a lot of good, like really yeah. good movies. Yeah. I guess there is more that I ended up liking versus disliking. So mm-hmm. it's like you said, when you really plot it out, it's like, oh. Yeah. Oh. We still need to do that episode. We just have to figure out exactly how to make it fair. Uh, but I think yeah. we'll figure to it out. To compare? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we, It'll be fine. We, we always do. We <laughs> always do. And in that case, we are out of here. Bye. 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 Bye.